Linda Perrick Livingstone has spent most of her career promoting the value of higher education in one way or another. Her passion for academics has carried her from coast to coast, and while her love for education began in Oklahoma, it now shines bright in Waco, Texas, as the first female president of Baylor University. I can remember she'd say, I have a test coming, this was in graduate school, I have a test coming up, and I've read the book three times, and I've been through all my notes four times, maybe five, and I just, I don't know if I've done enough. But she was always prepared. Her important role, uh, from her perspective, is to make sure that our students get the best education possible and the best experience possible here at Baylor. Uh, that's her mission every day, and she does a great job and sets a great example for all of them. Livingstone grew up in Perkins, Oklahoma, with OSU just up the road. Her father, Doyle Perrick, played on Oklahoma A&M's 1945 National Championship basketball team and would eventually coach at both OSU and OU. Basketball ran in Livingstone's blood, and she eventually played at OSU herself. Her senior year in high school at Perkins, Oklahoma, her father um, was made um, the basketball coach for the women at OU. And the first thing that her father offered Linda as Linda was going into college was a basketball scholarship to play for him, her father, at OU. And she turned him down because she, she for her whole life, she'd wanted to go to Oklahoma State University. Livingstone's work ethic matured through playing basketball at OSU and working on her family farm in Perkins. She's continued to grow that ambition throughout her professional career. I know that I work for her, uh, but she never makes me feel like I work for her. She, she makes it feel as, as we're partners, uh, working together to achieve one goal. And uh, so I, I hope she's uh, here at, as, at least as long as I'm here. Working with Dr. Livingstone is pretty amazing. She has nonstop energy. I spend from time to time, days sort of following her around in various meetings and that sort of thing. And I'm always amazed at all the things she does for Baylor University, our students, our faculty, our alumni. Though she's enjoyed incredible professional success, Livingstone's impact can also be seen in her family life. She's always focused on creating time for those closest to her and practicing her faith. Growing up with my mom was just the best. She is the greatest role model any young girl could ever have and just being able to look up to her um, throughout my childhood was absolutely amazing and I don't think I really appreciated it as much as I should have until um, I was older and I got to college. Everybody at Oklahoma State would be so proud not just of her accomplishments but the way she lives her life, Christ-centered, uh, the way she gives back to people her integrity, um, you know, if I'm, you know, Oklahoma State and I'm thinking about, man, who's the one alum that I, I want to put out there to, to represent all great things in life, uh, it's her. Livingstone has also never passed on the opportunity to have fun. She has a love for competition that goes back to her college days and a friendly game with her future husband and fellow OSU basketball player, Brad. The women would practice first in the afternoon and then they would stop and then the men would practice uh, about 30 minutes afterwards. Well, our freshman year, we would in that 30 minute time frame, um, all the way up to our senior year, when we could, we'd play a game of horse where you know you shoot and then if you make it, you have to match it and if you don't, you get a letter. In four years time, I never beat her. And I just remember nights that we were just in tears over some nerdy American history board game that if you know my family, you know that that's the type of board games that we would play. And just in tears over something someone said that was just so funny. And um, my parents are my best friends. Livingstone has never let her success change her outlook about life. She continues to move forward as a humble and hardworking champion of education and the future leaders that she impacts. 
the success that she's earned is is part of the thing that draws you to her because she doesn't she doesn't seek it she doesn't want glory she does she's not looking for accolades she just is a genuine person who wants to know you I really want to thank OSU for turning out such an amazing leader such an amazing uh, professor such an amazing uh, higher education person uh, her character her integrity her leadership skills. I know we owe a lot of that to Oklahoma State University. We're really thrilled that Baylor's the beneficiary of that. OSU's highest honor is fitting for someone who carries the torch for higher education with such charisma. And it's a perfect way to celebrate a cowgirl who continues to make an impact far beyond the boundaries of Stillwater. Linda Perrick Livingstone, 2020 Oklahoma State University Hall of Fame.